Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to this tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install MAMP on your Windows computer. Now, let me start off by answering the question, what does MAMP do and why do I even want it on my computer? So those are technically two questions, but uh, basically what MAMP does is uh, simulate a server environment. So it gives us access to things that we wouldn't normally have on our computer, but we would have access to on a server. So we can run PHP code. We have access to something called PHP MyAdmin, which lets us create and uh, manage databases for our website. And uh, there's a whole bunch of other cool stuff that MAMP comes with. And uh, why do you want it on your computer? Well. You're going to need it to follow along with most of my tutorials, but you're going to need it especially to run uh, WordPress and Joomla or any PHP code, really. So uh, go over to MAMP's website, which is MAMP.info, and I will leave a link in the description. Then um, if you have some unanswered questions about MAMP, there are there's a whole bunch of information on the homepage. So you can see that MAMP stands for My Apache, MySQL, and PHP. It's available for Windows and Mac. Um, and you can see some stuff, uh, some general information or some information about MySQL and PHP if, uh, if you need to read up about that. Um, but I'm just going to scroll all the way back up to the top again, and I'm going to hit download and that is going to take me to the downloads page and I can choose my OS uh, whether it be Mac OS or uh, Windows and then hit download and that is going to uh, download a version of MAMP. Now I already have it downloaded so I'm not going to download it again because that's going to waste my internet and it's going to take some time because it's about 300 megs. Uh, so let me go ahead and view my downloads and I can see that I've already got MAMP downloaded. I'm just going to open up that uh, file which is in my downloads folder and then I'm going to uh, double click on it to run the install. Now I've got a uh, question here. Do I want to allow this to make changes to my computer? I'm going to hit yes. Uh, English and you know this is kind of running an installation I guess most of you can do it but I'm going to hit next um, and then I've got an option here if I want to install MAMP Pro with MAMP. Uh, so MAMP is a free version of the software, but MAMP Pro has some extra features that you might have to pay for in future. I think when you install MAMP Pro, this is just the trial version. Uh, and I'm just going to hit next. Then um, you've got to read and agree to the license agreement. So that was a good read. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Uh, and this part you really need to pay attention to because this is telling you where you're going to save or where you're going to install MAMP onto your computer. So in this case, it is the C drive and then a folder called MAMP. Now for most of you guys, it's going to be the same. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hit next. And then I'm going to hit next again because that's just uh, about the taskbar. And do I want to create a desktop icon? I think so. So let's hit next and then I'm going to run uh, the install. Now this is probably going to take two to three minutes, so I'll come back to you when it's done. Okay, so the installation is now complete and I can hit the finish button, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now if I go back over to my desktop, if I minimize all these things, uh, I've got a MAMP shortcut on my computer, so I'm going to go ahead and double click on this and it is going to open up MAMP and I'm going to get an error. Uh, so as you can see, the error says Apache needs port 80, which is already being used by another service or application. Now, uh, for the most part, I think Skype blocks port 80. I'm not sure what other programs do, but I don't even have Skype open on my computer right now and something's blocking it. So to get around this problem, I'm just going to hit OK, go to preferences. Um, and then go over to ports and I'm going to click this button that says set MAMP ports to default. So click on that and now the Apache port should be quadruple eight and the MySQL port should be triple uh, eight and a nine. Go ahead and hit OK. I don't want to say eight, 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 eight. <laughs> uh, and then you can see I've got this uh, error popping up again. I have no idea why it does it after uh, you've already changed the port, but go ahead and close that and then close MAMP. 
and then open map again. And uh, this time it is going to try and open map on the new ports uh, and you shouldn't have a problem. So uh, there we've got Apache running and now we've got MySQL server running. Uh, so uh, we're not using port 80 anymore and we don't have that blocked port issue anymore, uh, which is good. <laughs> now uh, let's go over and open up the uh, start page or the web start page. And this is gonna open up uh, MAMP on your computer. So uh, if you take a look at the URL, this is localhost quadruple eight. So I know I'm on my local computer. And uh, over here I can see some information about my installation of MAMP. So if I take a look at PHP info, if I click on this, it's going to uh, give me some information about my uh, PHP version. So we are running on my computer, which was Windows 8 Premium. No, this is Windows 10. <laughs> oh well. Uh, and we're running PHP version uh, 7. Um, but I'm just going to go back and uh, you can also see some information about MySQL. So uh, if I click on, um, well, yeah, if I click on PHP My Admin, I can go through to a program or software called PHP My Admin. Uh, and if you guys don't know about that, then don't worry about it. We'll talk about it in a future video. Uh, then I've also got some information that I might need, especially if you're installing WordPress. Um, you're going to need to know that this is on our local host and that the username and the password for accessing our database is root and root. Uh, and yeah, uh, that's pretty much all the information we need to see on the site. Uh, but now let's take a look at our root directory. So this is where all of our web files go on our server. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of this word map in the URL and we're just gonna go over to localhost quadruple eight and that's gonna take me through to my root directory on my server and right now you can see it is blank. We've got index of and nothing because there are no files on our root directory. Uh, but let me go ahead and show you where to find this root directory. If we go over to um, my uh, Windows Explorer, and then I go over to local disk C and I go over to map. This is why you had to pay attention to where you were installing map on your computer. Uh, and then I go over to htdocs. Uh, this is our root directory. So right now it is blank, but uh, any files we install or place into this folder are gonna show up when we visit our local host. So um, just to prove my point, Let's create a new uh, text file or a new text document and I'm gonna call this uh, index.html and um, hit yes. And now if I go ahead and edit this in Notepad++ and I just type in something like, hello there and hit uh, save. Now this is not um, a valid uh, HTML document, but uh, it should still show the writing. So hello there. So now that you know where to place all of your files, I'm going to end the video off here and you can continue watching one of my series, whether it be uh, HTML or how to install WordPress. If you like that video, there are a bunch of things that you can do to help. First of all, don't forget to subscribe, watch another one of my videos, follow me on social media, and if you wanna support the channel financially, you can also become a patron. Becoming a patron means that you're gonna to choose to help me pay for some of the equipment and the software that I use to make these videos and also hopefully help me finish my degree. So go ahead and click on something and I'll see you guys next time.